I'm here with the manager of culture and inclusion for the Toronto Maple Leafs and former Toronto Maple Leaf, Mike Frazier. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. How are you, Scotty? Good, good. Um, I imagine this has been a busy time for you, <laughs> yes. a busy couple of weeks, but maybe the most fun that you're going to have throughout the year. There's a lot of things that the Toronto Maple Leafs are doing right now to celebrate black excellence. You want to break us through what the first half of the month of February has been as we celebrate Black History Month. One of the best things that I think we've done as an organization, as a company, both MLC and the Maple Leafs, is we hosted an employee screening of the film Black Ice, the new film that had come out, speaking to the uh, systemic racism issues within Canada, but through the lens of hockey. One of our own, Wayne Simmons, of course, is featured in the film as well. Bang, bang. Um, so it was an amazing film to have a lot of our staff come learn this education. Uh, had an amazing panel with the creators, and of course, Bernice Carnegie came out. Um, we were able to chat with her afterwards, and she just killed it, as she often does. I, I would just love to be in that room, just because when she talks, she talks with such wisdom and such patience, but she's also very stern. Absolutely. No, she did. She And she called, she called the group out. You know, if you can take this education, this learning, and you're not going to do something with it in your own space, in your own world, to help address these issues, then shame on you. So it was just a powerful, uh, amazing education, but I'm proud that the organization really wanted to lean in and provide that for our staff. And that's only the first half of the month. The Toronto Maple Leafs have been doing this all across the city and all across the GTA. What are some of the uh, initiatives that we have in store for the second half of February to keep celebrating black excellence here in our community? Absolutely. Well, well the biggest one is probably on February 24th. We have our Black History Month game. Mm -hmm. We're repeating the same theme as last year of celebrating black excellence, um, you know, celebrating the experience of uh, the black stakeholders in hockey and the game on the ice, off the ice. Um, you know, we're going to have uh, portions of our proceeds that are raised throughout the various uh, activations throughout the evening. We'll be going to Seaside Hockey in the city. We're gonna oh, yeah, have, on the, the east side. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to yeah. have a um, new organization. They're cool. Yeah, yeah. Soul Power Gospel Choir is going to be here performing as well. Um, we have the Black Stars Dance Crew that's going to be performing that's in cool. the second intermission. Um, so it's just, again, the pouring into that black excellence that exists in our city, in our culture, but is also represented in our sport. Yeah, we've got so much happiness. <laughs> Feels like a, that's a night off for me. Yeah. And by the way, I've been texting Val James. Make sure you get over here to Scotiabank Arena. I want to see him. I love you. I love you, Val. Um, since you've gotten this job, you've gotten so many opportunities to really dive in to the community and really make a difference. What has this process been like for you on a personal note? Uh, it's been, honestly, it's been it's been wonderful. It, it's, it certainly comes with its challenges. Like, it's not, uh, you know, we're addressing the culture of hockey, and there's a lot of issues that need to be addressed in the game. It's a game that I love, but it's also been a game that's, um, you know, hurt me in a lot of ways as well. But the biggest thing, the thing that makes me the most proud is that I'm able to be in the position that I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm a, one of the first, I think I am the first yeah, black are, executive you are, you are. with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And to be able to show have that representation, as you mentioned, not only as a player, as an executive, have the support that I have for my leadership group to be able to lean in these ways and really address true issues that are happening in our game, trying to invite more people in, allowing our beautiful sport to be more accepting and more inclusive. It's really hard work. It's very challenging work. It's exhausting and stressful work, but it's passionate, and I'm mm. proud to do it, and I'm just trying to pave the way for the next. And you're doing a great job, and, I, and this is why I always say hockey is for all colors, and in all, in all shapes and sizes, not just on the ice, but in the front office and in front of the camera. Me and you are kind of the reasons and proof of that, and we hope for another generation to believe in that, and 100%. I think we're doing well. Mark, appreciate I you. appreciate you, and there's plenty more initiatives. Keep following the Toronto Maple Leafs as we celebrate Black Excellence all February.